go. Hi, can I have the seat? Hi. Yeah, please. Oh. How you doing today? Oh, I'm doing all right. Uh, I was rubbing my little lunch with me. I think yeah. this is filling. This is what you really should be eating. What, what, what's, what are you eating? Big Mac. A Big right. Mac? Yeah. Well, that meat, it's going to make you fat, you know. Yes, but I'm already fat. You're already fat? But you're going to add fat to your system and tax your heart and liver and kidney more. Yeah. That's going to cause problems. I know. See, that, that meat has chemicals in it, and it gets caught up in the fat. And when it gets released, it kind of like destroys your muscles and your bones and your eyes, causing arthritis, high blood pressure, and muscle deterioration. Well, what am I supposed to eat? What are you supposed to eat? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think cows eat hamburgers, and they seem to be quite they healthy. They are the hamburger. Yeah, that's why they don't eat hamburgers. Because they don't want to put that junk in their system. They wouldn't eat cheese. Cows don't eat cheese. Because they know it's harmful. So now you're eating things that even a cow wouldn't eat. And plus that's a dead car carcass there. It's like you're using your body as a cemetery and burying a dead cow in it. You should put a tombstone on your head. And what shall it say? It should I say, ate the cow and I died. It should say, here lies an ignorant woman who ate my body. Yes, but I don't necessarily have to be ignorant to eat it. You know, if you don't know anything different, then that's what you do. But it doesn't mean that I'm ignorant because I ate it. So I like it. So you're controlled by your ignorance. No, I'm controlled because I'm hungry. And, and I you're like hungry it. because? Well, it's natural to eat. Oh. It? So let us say this is natural to eat. Mm -hmm. So if I gave a, a six-month-old baby or one-year-old child a burger or some alcohol or a cigarette, they wouldn't eat it. They would not eat it. They would, they would say the alcohol burns. They would say the smoke mm -hmm. burns. You can't force a child to eat something that's not unnatural. That's right, but a child doesn't know that a hamburger is unnatural. Right, because they would, weren't taught to eat the hamburger. Right. You're eating what you were trained to eat, right. like a trained horse. You right. give them a block of sugar and they run around the track. So you're eating like a trained horse. But it is too late for me now. It's only too late when you're dead. Yeah. But I'm going to die at some time in my life, whether I eat good or don't eat good, right? The cow didn't say that. No, he didn't have to say that, but God said that. He, everybody has to die. Okay. So, and so? I enjoy this. You know you talk like a food addict. Mm -hmm. You're addicted to food. Yes. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? No, I'm happy. Just like an addict. As long as you can get your drug with all those chemicals That's and right. steroids and estrogen and nitrites in it, you're happy. Yes. You need therapy. Probably. Yeah. But I think people that don't eat anything also need therapy. This is not anything? No, not to me. I mean, a bird wouldn't eat that and be full. You mean I'm stupid for eating this apple? Yes. And if that's all you eat, yes. Well, I was planning on eating maybe oh. another apple. Oh, I so see. So I'm right. twice as stupid? Sure. I have bologna. Yes, you you can have some of my bologna. Yeah, I eat this bologna. Get some fries. B-O-L-O-G-N-A. This, this, this is made from the scrap meat that's on the slaughterhouse floor. They have a machine that separates it. So this is pork and chicken and beef all mixed together, plus it's spoiled. But it's all one color. Right. That's because they put dye in it. They dye this rotten meat. It's actually green. Then they put perfume in it so it make it smell fresh. That's what you got up. That's what you call a burger. First, it's not even ham. So why are they calling it a burger? A hamburger. You're going to make me sick. I'm not going to make you sick. I'm making you happy. No, you're not. Yes, I am. See, this is symbolic here. Don't you understand the symbolism? I don't want to touch that with my hands. You, you see that? That's a fried potato. Yes. So it's going to stay in your body too long. Mm -hmm. And it's going to cause constipation. And it's cause fermentation. Then you can get funky arms because the fumes be coming out through your arms. Then your feet's going to stink because all that's rotten and stinking in your body. So the fumes are going to come out your body. You're going to need deodorant soap after a while. But you need it anyway. No, you don't. Yes, you do need deodorant. You do? You do, too. 
Everybody you, does. Because you're eating rotten food. The natural deodorant is chlorophyll. If you eat chlorophyll, you wouldn't need the deodorant. Chlorophyll is a natural deodorant. And where do you, where do you put chlorophyll? In your mouth. You mean to tell me you don't use any deodorant? It's chlorophyll that I use. Chlorophyll. Where do you get chlorophyll from? Fresh, green, leafy vegetables. Romaine lettuce, spinach. Eating it raw, you get the chlorophyll. It's a natural deodorant. Now, don't you feel better? 